Hello and welcome back to the body section of the Harvest Cardigan Tutorial Knit Along. My name's Tina and we're going to be working, we've just divided off the sleeves so we're now we'll be doing the body rows to take it down to the band at the bottom. So it's pretty much a straight pattern for here but there is some shaping just at the front so we need to just do a little bit of making one now and again but it's only a four row repeats that we're doing so I shall run through the four rows and then you will I will leave you to do the rest of it which is in my case for my size I have to do those four rows eight times so let's start off with the first row so before we start that first row we need to do a wrong side row so this is just a knit the first ones for that garter stitch edge so we're just going to knit across these until we get to the marker Slip that marker across, take you onto the front because we're going to then purl. So these stitches are along the front of the body. And these ones could be tricky to purl across. These are the ones we cast on. So the stitches aren't going to be quite so nice to use. This is the back we knit the purling on now. I'm keeping an eye on my yarn because I'm getting low the first ball now. So I don't know if you are, you probably are. When I'm doing knitting like this, then instead of waiting until it runs out, I try and put attach the new ball on under the arm so it's down the side so you don't notice it you don't want it right in the front or right at the back so it's more noticeable so it's something to bear in mind if you think it's going to run out right in the middle of the front or something or right on the edge because this is a cardigan you don't want to join right on the edge when you can hide it away somewhere I've got a fair few rows I think to go, but it's worth considering. And we're coming over that bridge of the other armhole. Thank you. 
first one that's a tricky one, isn't it? So pulling in across the bridge. And then back onto the front. Come up to that marker, slip the marker, take the yarn to the back because we need to knit that band. to do row one so this is going to be the first row of the four row repeat that we're going to be doing so we need to knit to the marker Let that marker over and then make one. So I'm just going to go into the front and the back of the same stitch to make one and then knit to two stitches before the marker on the other end. So literally all we're doing is on this band row we're just going to make one stitch each side. That's the only thing we need to do on this. So I'm going to knit all the way around. that bridge and across the back we are definitely into TV knitting now I think with this section. And we're getting close to time as well to start thinking about how long you want your cardigan to be. about the cardigans that you wear, what length you like, because it doesn't have to be the length this cardigan says. Once we get to just an even, we're not making any more stitches, you can finish the cardigan where you want it to finish.
Bridge again across the arm. Stop two stitches before the marker. Okay, so two the stitches before the marker, make one. So I knit in the front, knit in the back, knit the next one, pass it over and knit along to the end. And that is the first row. Going to turn it around for row two. So now we're on the pearl side. So it says knit to marker, pearl to marker, knit to the end. So literally all we're going to do is a straight row of knitting where we need to knit from the garter edges and purling between the garters. This cardigan does seem to feel like it grows so fast. I'm also knitting a four ply at the moment. So this weight is 10 ply, so it's less than half of this one. So you have to do a lot more knitting to see any results on that one. I will have to put another picture up so you can see it. That's the thing with um, doing the video in like this, that you can't really see. Mine's always bunched up so you can't really see it. So I'll put another updated Instagram picture up so you can see how it's growing. I put one up before when it was just the shoulders. So I shall put one up for when this video goes up so I shall link my Instagram below and the Simply Knit Cow so you can put any pictures on there and you can see what mine's looking like. I'd love to see what yours is looking like. I 
think I'll be knitting another one of these. I think I'm really excited to have this finished. I think it's going to turn out to be a lovely cardigan for the cooler weather. Something to throw on. I know somebody's doing the same yarn as me but in the plums and I'm really interested to have a look at that because I think that's a strong contender for me to do next. Here in the UK at the moment, doing our own weight sweaters isn't a problem because we've got rainy, nasty days. <laughs> so I can understand if you're suffering if you're in a hot country at the moment. But if you are in a hot country, then I presume you're probably doing this later on in the year. Well, let me know down in the comments below what the weather's like, where you're knitting it and how you're getting on. Have you got the aircon on full blast while it's sitting on you? Just come in up to the second little bridge of the arm. So we're just coming up to where the marker is and then we will change to knit again for that band. Pass your marker over onto the back and just knit. And then turn it around again. So that was row two. So row three is just a knit round. So I think we can leave it there because we have row three. Three is just a knit all the way around. And row four is the same as we've just done. The knit to the mark and then purl. So the only row you're increasing on is the first row you're just increasing a stitch at each end just after that band so all you need to do is check how many times you need to repeat that four row repeat when you have that many stitches if you wanted to do a button you can have a button hole there 
and that is just a case of just doing the yarn over I'm not going to be doing the buttonhole as I don't think I'll be doing it up it is supposed to be loose and I would rather have a pin if I did decide to have it with something um, I shall link below a video showing how to do a buttonhole because it's only going to be a couple of minutes it's literally a couple of stitches that you need to do so I shall link below if you want to do a buttonhole there and then you need to repeat rows three and four until the body measures however many inches it says or like I said if you measure how you want how long, how long you would like yours to be then apparently the band is going to be for my size the band at the bottom is going to be four inches so however much how what the length is of the cardigan you want subtract how many inches you need it says in that last paragraph on page four it says there about that so I shall see how long I want my cardigan and then take four inches from that total and that's where I shall stop and we shall do the next part there so there's actually the buttonhole instructions are on the right but as I say I shall show you I shall link a video so you can watch a video if you wanted to if you chose to do that for a button so that is it you need to just do your repeats there so I shall see you in a week's time next Friday and we shall do the garter band which is going to be very quick and easy and it's just going to be four rows of knitting really so but I should do a video just to go through it with you so if you do have any questions anything you need me to show you please put them in the comments below so then I can incorporate that into the next video so that is it for today so you have your homework good luck and I shall see you soon bye for now